I've got the smartest sales trick to get your existing clients demanding new hardware from you. And all it will cost you is a spam monitor. Hey, I'm Paul Green from the MSP Marketing Edge, the leading white label content marketing system that's trusted by more than 700 MSPs around the world. Check if your area is available now at mspmarketingedge.com. Now, I wish I could say that I personally thought of this idea, but that wouldn't quite be true. It's something I got from one of the many MSPs that I'm working with right now. And this particular MSP is selling tons more hardware to his existing clients, and it's using a number of different techniques, including this trick. So I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is and how you can pull it off. There is one thing though, it only works if you go onto your client's sites, this specific trick anyway. And I'm conscious that you probably spend spend much of your time trying not to go onto client sites. But let me tell you how it works anyway, and it might give you an incentive to visit your clients every now and again. That in itself isn't a bad thing, because meeting someone face to face can be excellent for building your relationship with them. Here it is, it's so simple. When he visits a site, he takes a spare monitor with him. And then he will pick a member of the team who is especially high profile. And by that, I mean it's someone that the, the rest of the staff can see. So let's say it's the receptionist of the business and all of the staff walk past this receptionist, you know, two or three times every single day. Now this MSP will start chatting to this receptionist. He'll explain who he is and he'll say, you know, hey, have you got any tech problems that we can help with right now? Now, of course, he doesn't want to personally deal with them. As the owner of the business, it's really important that they, they don't see you on your hands and knees underneath a desk, right? Once they see you on your hands and knees, you're never going to be a strategic advisor. You're just gonna be the plugging in cable guy, okay? So this MSP, he says, have you got any tech problems? But then he collects the issues, he opens tickets, he does it on his phone or his device, and, he, and it's done and he says, my team will reach out to you and we'll get this fixed. And then he'll say to the receptionist, hey, have you ever thought of using a second monitor? Because in my office, we all use two monitors and it makes us so much more productive. And he really sells the concept of using a second monitor. And most of the time, the receptionist will be pretty excited by this because who doesn't want to be more productive, right? And then the MSP says, well, actually, I've got a spare monitor in my car and it's very similar to the one that you've got here. How about I get that set up for you right now? And don't worry, it's not gonna cost you all the business anything at all. I'm just really, really happy to help. So he pops out to his car, grabs the monitor, installs it, and sets up all the technical wizardry, that whatever it is that you do to make two monitors work, and then he leaves the site. And what happens over the next couple of weeks is that everyone in the building sees that the receptionist is using two monitors, whereas they're using one monitor. And they will ask the receptionist, hey, how come you've got two monitors? And of course the receptionist will say, oh yeah, the IT guys, they installed it for me. It's made me so much more productive. I can see two things. I can drag stuff across, all of that stuff. And so everyone else around the building is thinking and talking over coffee and saying, have you seen the receptionist has got two monitors? I want two monitors. What do you have to do to to get two monitors around here. It becomes almost like a status symbol. Now it only takes one decision maker or one influencer thinking that exact thing or having that exact conversation for the phone to ring at your MSP and in comes an order for more monitors. And sometimes that will come in over the phone. Sometimes you just have to make another site visit and you just mention it. Perhaps you're doing some kind of strategic review or quarterly business review and you say, I hope you didn't mind. I gave a second monitor to your receptionist. It's, you know, it's something we recommend for productivity and your, your contact, your decision maker says, actually, it's cool. Can we have it for everyone, please? What's it going to cost me to put a second monitor on every single desk? And essentially, what you've done here is you've given the business a free trial of the two monitor experience, and it's made everyone realize this is something really cool and we'd really like this. But that's not everything, because you know that adding a second monitor creates new opportunities to sell even more hardware. So you're selling some monitors already, but potentially you're also now selling some laptop docking stations, right? And then if you do that, you're looking at Bluetooth keyboards, you're looking at a Bluetooth mouse or trackpad or whatever. And then I'm sure as you're installing all of this, you'll spot that some people are using really old clunky laptops from like 2020 that could be upgraded. And the point behind all of this is when it comes to hardware, 
people are more likely to buy something extra or upgrade because they want something rather than because they need something. And don't you see this yourself when you're specking out laptops for your clients? Sometimes they might only need a $1,000 or £1,000 laptop, but what they really want is a $3,000 laptop. And it's not for you to stand in the way of the things that they want. In fact, in your capacity as a professional advisor, it's your duty to tell them what they could have and let their hearts and their credit cards decide what it is that they want to buy. So a really simple, very clever trick to sell more hardware. Is this something that you might start doing? Paul Green's MSP Marketing Edge.